Hello, I'm Bob Norton, founder and creator of Airtight Management. Welcome to our 101 Video Best Practices series. I know that these proven practices will help you become a better manager and leader. We also know that companies that use even a small fraction of them over time become market leaders and world-class companies in their space. These 101 best practices are just a small sample of over a thousand embedded in the airtight management six systems. Today, we're going to talk about ones used to create high performance teams. So best practice number four is to improve, you must measure. Some people say this in an old management axiom, you cannot improve what you don't measure. And I think that's true. How would you know you improved it? unless you had a metric to show that that's the case. So every key process in a business, and there are only so many key value creation processes, it might be five in your business or department, it might be 20, but I'm not talking about hundreds of processes. I'm talking about the, the ones that are specific to your company and really help your company create value for you and for your customers. So every department should have measurements of its activities and metrics metrics. And this is what a professionally designed dashboard does. In fact, you can't enable highly sophisticated management techniques until you have a dashboard with these key metrics. Metrics create a feedback loop to be constantly improving the business and to make key decisions. Many, many other things that we can't get into in a short video like this. There are about 20 benefits of having the right metrics or KPIs, key performance indicators in place whether it's a project, a department, or a corporation as a whole, and sometimes even for individual processes, you can have a dashboard that will uh, greatly improve the improvement, i.e. the rate of improvement and figuring things out, or what is sometimes called Kaizen, or the Japanese term, or Kanai, constant and never-ending improvement. Without that feedback loop of metrics, you really can't improve. So improving processes is really working on the business not in the business. And so if you don't have that metric, you can't be doing what every manager should be doing, which is spending some of your time working on the business. Therefore, you have to execute more care in execution of processes. Uh, for example, just putting a sign out on a sheet of paper at a supply cabinet tells people it's being measured and changes the behavior of those people. So this is a more in-depth psychology and subtle impact of having metrics. But if you, if you do that, the usage of the supplies in that supply cabinet will go down. The art and the challenge is what are the right things to measure. And that has to be connected to your strategic plan at the quarterly, annual, and sometimes even longer term kinds of goals. So that's best practice number four. You must measure to improve. And the best way to use do this is to have a professionally designed dashboard. In a department, there might be 20 to 50 KPIs or lines in that dashboard that measure the key processes. And they'll allow a manager to be a better manager because it's a tool for managing down as well as a tool for reporting up to your superiors and communicating with your peers on the same level in the organization. It's about managing by the numbers. So that's practice, practice number four, always measure and have metrics. Thanks for joining us for this short best practice video on high performance teams and we'll see you in the next best practice video. Thank <laughs> you.